good evening everyone thank you so much for listening in to speak your truth the untold i'm yana positive and tonight we have a short vesper service for you and it's coming from a woman admire a woman who's strong will and a woman who loves god she is a fourth year psychology student at the northern caribbean university a member of NCU debate team. She hails from the parish of St. James. She's a trained child preacher and an ardent woman of God. So ladies and gentlemen, as she speaks to you, allow yourself to be led by the Spirit, to be empowered and inspired. Without further ado, here is Tayasha James. Today, We'll be talking about a government that loves you. As the pandemic rages on and the measures that are put in place to slow or prevent its spread continue to have an adverse effect on the economies of the world, we continue to see the true nature of many governments. Some have clearly been shown to be narcissistic and selfish. Others have been deemed caring but some critics claim their response might just be a PR stunt. There are many ideas out there as to who genuinely cares. Locally, many tempers have been provoked by the decision of our government to reopen our borders without putting in place proper protocols to have incoming tourists tested for COVID-19. This decision, some say, indicates that the government is willing to risk the lives of its citizens in the name of saving the economy, all in the name of business and money. But I implore you not to get worked up. The truth is, humans will always be humans. But I know of a government that always has the best interests of its citizens at heart. I'm talking about the government of God. Yes, a theocracy, which is a government ruled by someone who has religious authority or divine authority. That person is Jesus Christ, because in 2 Corinthians 5 and 19, it says that Christ has reconciled us unto himself, so he has all right to rule on our behalf. In Philippians 2, verses 6 to 8, it says that, he was in the form of God, and he taught it not robbery to be equal with God. But he made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. You see, when the pandemic of sin was raging over the world, he did not sit back in heaven, and try to save his family or his economy. But he risked his life. He gave up his divine privilege. He stripped himself of glory and came down here to die for you and for me so that we can have the wonderful privilege of salvation. He took the blow. He laid off himself of his divine reputation. He didn't allow his citizens to get laid off from their jobs. But he took the economic blow. He emptied all of heaven. All of heaven was emptied into one gift, into Jesus Christ, and it was sent down here. He gives the best stimulus package himself. And it's not just a one-time $10,000 or $25,000. I'm not saying that our government isn't doing well. But I am saying that the mercies of God are new every morning. And he gives grace every day. Where our sins abound, his grace much more abounds. Doesn't this sound like a government we should really gravitate towards? We should. Because in the final analysis, these governments will come and pass. They will do well. They will be able to give noble leadership. But we must answer to our God in the final day of atonement. How will we vote in the next election? You see, this government showed that it cares. It didn't say I care, but 
it showed in its action when christ stretched himself off calvary that was profound 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 statement of love an election is due soon and we might have already made up our minds who to vote for but there is a more important election it's concerning your soul how will you vote will you choose christ the better government pray with me today lord help those who are listening to choose you help them to see how much you love them and to respond to this love by giving you their souls in jesus name amen Thank you.